This video is sponsored by VIPSADKey.com. VIPSADKey.com is a marketplace website where you can purchase game keys and software keys with no hassle. VIPSADKey.com offers a legit Windows 10 key for only $22 and Windows 11 key for $32. This is the same keys I use on my PC builds. But to make it more awesome, they will be giving another 25% discount. Just type our coupon code XTNC. To get it for only $16 for Windows 10 key and $23 for Windows 11 key. You now have your legit Windows 10 or 11 key license all set but in a more affordable price. If you're in the Philippines, purchasing is very easy. You can use PayPal or Maya. Visit VIPSDKey.com now. I'll put the link in the video description below. So thank you VIPSDKey.com for sponsoring this video. Okay, let's do the unboxing of the MPG X870E Carbon Wi-Fi uh, from MSI. AMD Ryzen 7 9700X, yun yung gagamit yung processor. Uh, this motherboard, it's a X8, tama, X870E na chipset, socket AM5, uh, yung mga latest na processor ni Intel, which is yung mga Ryzen 9000, yun po yung tura. Actually, natrack ako sa box nila ngayon, no? I don't know, yung combination ng color, pero... I like it. I like it. AMD Ryzen 9000 desktop ready. We have a 40 gigabits na USB 4, Ultra Connect, uh, 5G, then Wi-Fi 7. Okay, at the back. So yun yung mga quick uh, features. Bas ko na. <laughs> so this is the Wi-Fi antenna. Kung sa inyo yun, design ng Wi-Fi antenna nila. Uh, I think stand. Then ito yung Wi-Fi antenna. I think this is a quick release then yung hindi na hindi roskas. So ito yung motherboard. Teka, check lang muna natin yung mga accessories included okay, when you buy this motherboard. So we have the USB for the drivers. Para siyang susi. Uh, I think mag-expand mag natin ng storage using dun sa gilid. I forgot yung name nung ano. Later. So another cables for SATA. Dalawa. Station for the a 3-pin or 4-pin pala na no, RGB then extension for the addressable 3-pin uh, and this is for the front panel uh, extension wow nice mahaba no ang galing no tapos uh, for the extra bakit parang may ball head yun nakita napansin niyo ba extra ata for the ano is M.2 stickers also for the SATA label and mga RGB fans nice quick installation guide some documentation and for the promo MSI shout out head over uh, to sa mga website nila yung mga promo you can check it and that's basically for the accessories na kasama X870 MPG is for performance oh nice that is flat black may RGB ba? here is walang RGB I think here uh, for the IO shroud it's that's yung sa dragon yun Yun yung may RGB. Yeah, lapag ko lang guys. And let's take a quick overview. So, bago nyan, check muna natin yung socket. Baka may bend pin. It's clear. Wala ko siyang bend pin. So, so, let's take a closer look dito yung mga header dito sa may taas. So, first is the CPU uh, power. So, meron tayong 4 plus 4 pin. Chunky heatsink. Ang laki po niya. Then we have a CPU fan header, fan for AIO header, and for the fan header, the PWM additional fan header, a three pin a header a for addressable RGB. So the bag LED, we have yung lights and yung code. Okay, so ATX power connector. Tapos we have an ECOM, all right here. Ayan, ito may mga naka-right angle na uh, connector dito. So, we have a USB Type-C, uh, front header, uh, apat na SATA. Kung napapansin nyo, meron tayong dalawa dito, USB 3.2 Gen 2. Okay, for the bottom naman, so start tayo dito sa my right side. Uh, we have the front panel connector. This is a power LED switch. Nice! Uh, gusto ko to kasi, um, you know, may mga client ako na na-experience na, ay, ayaw ko ng mga RGB, you can switch off and pwede rin mga pagsamasawa ka na sa mga ilaw. <laughs> Pwede mo rin hindi pa ilewan. So, meron silang uh, manual switch dito and power on and off switch. Nice. Power button and reset. So, next naman is the uh, RGB or 3 pin addressable. So, we have uh, USB 2.0 header. Dalawa. So, 1, 2, 3 additional fan headers, PWM. And ito is the 
uh, PCIe power. So connect to guys if you want an extra juice dito sa may PCIe and also uh, para dun sa PD charging ng USB Type C. Tapos next naman is additional RGB or 3 pin addressable 5 volts. Katabi nun is the 12 volts 4 pin. Then last is the audio front uh, panel connector. Okay, so check natin yung sa may PCIe. This button, uh, it's a quick release uh, for the GPU. Now, hindi lang siya para siyang nalalak or unlock. Mapapansin nyo yan, meron siyang indicator na parang, oy nakalak yan. It's nakalu or unlock. Ang <laughs> galing, di ba? Okay, so check natin tong M.2. So, nakalagay dito, push and lift. So, this is the Lighting Gen 5 M.2. Ayan, carbon. Oh, nice. Hindi nila nilagay dito yung button. So, dito nila sa may side. Which is okay lang din. M.2. So, this is a Gen 5 M.2, guys. Uh, we, ah, ito yung extra na parang bilog. Try natin. We have a SSD right here. So, this is a Gen 5. Gen 5 yung slot, not here. Ito kasi yung barang ano. Nahirapan ako yung unlock kanina. Kala ko kasi automatic. We're palang kiniklik na lang. But hindi po. Okay, so you have to turn this to lock. Yan. Kumagets pa ano. Ah, okay. Kailangan. And that's it. Oh, yung lock na. Okay. Nice. Gets, gets, gets. Push here. Then lock. Kailangan nyo muna i-hook ito. Uh, Doon sa may dalawang nakikita nyo yung ball head na maliit. Yan. Now, dito sa may baba, uy, pinapush na rin. Ito yung maganda. Kasi nakita ko na rin dun sa Z8 or 90 nila na ano. Ito yung maganda sa MSI guys. Hindi kayo tinitipid. And yung M.2 drive. So, nakita ko dito, we have four. Dalawa is, I think this is Gen 5. Itong parehas. Then, uh, yung dalawa is Gen 4 lang. So, Gen 5 is, I think, connected to the CPU. Uh, yung isa ata is connected uh, to the chipset, I think. Okay. Lahat is may... Uy, bakit ito? Yung mechanism niya or yung ano niya pag... Bakit yung sa main drive? Ito yung connection. What? Come on! Dapat yung main drive is... Yung sa Gen 5, yun yung... Ito. Ito yung ano guys, yung parang easy ano nila, yung sa latch. Kasi... Dito, ang nilagay nila, by default, I don't know ha, kung sino nag ano nito. Kung napapansin nyo, ito, hindi siya nakaganun. So, yung ilalock nyo pa, ayun o. So, meron naman extra dun sa motherboard, you have to, ano, but, but mas maganda sa ng MSI. If eh, yung main drive ng Gen 5, is yun yung nilalagay nyo, bakit? Tapos, ito lahat is yun yung parang may ball head ba yun? Para malak. Ayun o, parang spring-loaded na ano. Lahat to, is nakaganun, tapos ito, hindi Okay, so for the storage, we have a Gen 5, Gen 5, Gen 4, Gen 4. Now, for the PCIe, so may nakikita ako ditong uh, tatlo. So, PCIe x16, uh, PCIe x4. This is Gen 5, yung dalawa. Ito yung Gen 4. Uh, I think that this is times 4 times 4 times 16. This two is connected dito sa CPU. Then, ito naman is the chipset. I think yung M.2 drive 3 and 4 is connected to the chipset. Yung 1, 2 is connected to the CPU. No way! Ganyan dapat, guys. Ang bilis! Diba? I think it's okay, MSI. Itong segment ng gaming motherboard ito, hindi ito yung flagship. So, this is for the mid-range. I think mid to high-end na to. Pero, you know, hindi kayo tinitipid dito sa part na to. Okay, so check naman natin yung input and output. As you can see, so we have 9 USB 10G, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, dalawa is 10G na USB Type-C, and dalawang uh, USB-C 40 gigabits, that's USB 4 with PD charging. Ayan, so dalawa po dito. Wow, so we have a HDMI output. Okay, next is the, hindi pa sa gitna, yung BIOS, CMOS, and ano to? The smart button. I don't know yung smart button na yan. Next is yung 2.5G and 5G internet port. Uh, we have yung sa Wi-Fi 7 antenna and the uh, high definition audio. Okay, so guys, what do you think of the design? So let's check uh, kung ano yung display ng lights or RGB. Power. Ah, hindi gumagana yung ano. Ah, naka-off pala. On ba? Ah, paano pag-anahin yun? Dito hindi gumagana. 
sa ISOs kasi ito lang yung uh, ginagawa ko but I don't know uh, with the MSI. Doon na lang sa isang video na gagawin ko, station for that, nung sa tingin yung design. Ito lang po yung unboxing ng MPG or MSI Performance Gaming X870E Carbon Wi-Fi. So this chipset is for the AMD Horizon 7000, 8000, and 9000 desktop processors ni uh, AMD. So there you go. Thank you guys for tuning in. All plus action. So like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video. Hindi ko pala pinakita yung uh, likod nito. So wala po siyang backplate.